Hi, everyone. Okay, here we are, and it's Friday, and we want to close out the week with some final thoughts. Chapter 11 of Genesis describes the third time the world of humanity rebelled against its maker. Now, time and time again, God has to come down to both save and to judge humanity. And how do we respond? With more rebellion. But God doesn't give up on humanity. In true God-like fashion, he's always wanting to forgive and to redeem. And if that means he has to throw some confusion into our lives, he won't hesitate to do so. Okay, so why is this story so important? Well, it explains the beginning of and the reasons for the various languages of mankind. It probably explains the origin of the races within humankind. Now, ethnic characteristics such as skin color arose from, uh, not from the loss of genetic variability, but not from the origin of new genes through mutation as suggested by evolution. It demonstrates the inclination of fallen man to rebel against God and to try to provide for his own needs rather than trusting and obeying God. It illustrates that rebellion against God results in, well, a broken relationship and fellowship between God and man, and a failure to realize God's intention for man in his creation, namely that man was to rule the earth effectively. God is wise, and he's able to thwart man's plans to dethrone him and worship false gods. God is righteous, and his purpose will be accomplished in spite of the arrogance and defiance of man's own purposes. Uh, he brings down the proud, he exalts the faithful. In the building of the tower, we see man's desire to reach God in his own way. Now, in the effort to build a city, we see our lust for the power that comes through, well, corporate control. In the end, the builders of the tower wanted to leave a legacy of rebellion, but instead, God left them and us with a legacy of grace. That one day, God would come down, not to condemn the world, but to save it. God would become flesh, and for that, he would need a family. But that's a story for next week's lesson. Those were some of our thoughts for this week, and now we want to hear from you. Please come out and share your thoughts with us in Sabbath School, and please join us next week as Seth shares some of his thoughts regarding the roots of Abraham. Happy Sabbath, take care, God bless. <music>